What is up you guys it's your boy DJ Leo back again with another tutorial and today we're gonna talk about recording in reason now before we get into that if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and hit the notification button and give this video a thumbs up and uh, yeah we're good to go now let's get back to business not talking reason and recording is as pretty much as recording in any software, say Cubase, uh, Protos, Logic, what it's whatsoever. First of all, what you need to think about is the audio. So if you want to record, you want to create a audio, audio track. That's what you want to create. So we're just going to go ahead and it's pretty much straightforward here in reason. You go to the rack and say right, right click and just say create audio track. Once you do that, it's going to bring out a channel audio track, which you can rename any other name that you want to do. Either you want to record a lead vocal or a guitar or some backing vocals. Just go ahead and write it on the channel and it's going to correspond into the, the, the sequencer window, right? Which is this. So now that you have that, is as simple because here what what reason does it it will root that audio input with the sound card that you are using at the moment i'm using some primary drivers here what if i go and say let me use the airflow drivers for the sake of the tutorial uh i use the airflow di drivers then I select input one from here, which is going to give me a, a, an input right here. You can see, and uh, uh, you have the monitor right here, which if you turn on, you'll, you'll be, be able, able to, to hear yourself, yourself when you perform. perform. And uh, if you turn it off, it's going to be as this. So me, I like the monitor way better because when you put effects and all that reverb and uh, auto tune and all, you'll be able to hear all those things when you perform right and uh, i think it just gives you a sort of a nice way of um boosting up your performance you should try it uh give it a shot see if you like it and uh yeah that does it so now that you have come to this point all you gotta do is press the record button which is in most of in most softwares the red button so you go ahead and record and oh let me remove that click i say off the click and uh yeah you go ahead and voila oh yeah oh yeah let's do this we're recording in reason and uh yeah you can check out the sound see if you like it man i'm just talking some nonsense <laughs> la, 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 la. anyway let's hear that so oh yeah oh yeah let's do this we're recording in reason and uh yeah you can check out the sound see if you like it man i'm just talking some nonsense <laughs> la, 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 la. anyway let's hear that so is as simple as that without wasting more time now if you want to record on a beat is as simple as dragging that instrumental into this window uh the sequencer window just drop the instrumental here put your tempo and uh, add the audio track start recording is as simple as that and uh that's it you guys um until next time you guys stay blessed <laughs>